Are we live? Seems like we are. Okay. Uh, so last time we were building a nuclear plant, but with condenser turbines. Uh, just as a quick aside from building the last one of the science packs that are going to go into our uh, main bus uh, orbital base. So basically all we have left to do is uh, finish this build and then figure out how we're going to put these together. Probably just move all these a bit to the side, have a fluid bus down the middle, probably have a like a belt or two going back up with scrap items. And let's continue, shall we? Uh, this needs stone. What? Oh, I see. That's kind of weird. Uh, there's plenty of room for substations in here. Shouldn't be a problem. And like so. Except we're going to need the stone on the other side as well. One, two, three, four. That's not what we're looking for. Let's do the inserters first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll need a belt for the stone. Uh, substations. Maybe we could put them here. Seems good. Hey, Terex. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, doing okay. Could be better. Considering the groceries that I ordered are still not here. And I've run out of... Not, not run out of food, but run out of, like... Decent, nutritious combinations of food. Why better? Uh, yeah, just that, mainly. Turns out, uh... The person who was supposed to deliver my stuff disappeared. Hopefully they're okay. Presumably if they are, they ran off with the goods or something. I don't know. Okay, so we also need uh, the output pipe for this stuff. Can we do a 15 here? That should be fine, actually. Okay. Those won't actually connect. What science you set up for today? Uh, today we're doing the final one of the tier one orbital sciences that are going to go into the main bus base which is uh, Energy Science Pack 1. It's looking very similar to the other sciences, so I don't think this one's going to be... Well, 
especially it's not going to be as difficult to design as uh, bioscience, I expect. And once that's done, we just need to move these jigsaw pieces uh, around a bit. Maybe redesign the rocket science pack a little bit, because we need to main bus the uh, blank data cards. But other than that, that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'm definitely thinking sort of a fluid bus down the side there. But for now, let's get some chemical gel. And it's taking a surprisingly long time for one recipe. That gives us our... Why is there chemical gel and plasma stream in here? Uh... That doesn't seem quite right. Hmm... Is it because it thinks this is connected? Long straight pipe will not fit. Different fluids. Yeah, it thinks these are connected somehow. Even though this is a 15er and it doesn't connect on the sides. Um, I guess we could just... Where's... Okay, I see these are different, which they shouldn't be, but other than that, uh, this isn't making a whole lot of sense. Let's flip these around. Is that going to fix it? It is. Okay. It's no longer confused. Alright, so that should be enough um, plasma stream to keep up with this, to turn it into iron stream. Iron stream is fast enough for this. And all of this is still only these two. Um, let's give it some coolant and see if there isn't anything else missing yet. Uh, let's see. Thermo fluid, 50%. Cold thermo fluid. And it looks like that's our electromagnetic field data. Except I forgot to make room for junk data cards. I guess we could deal with them at the end of this part of the belt on a filter. It looks like we don't get very many of them. 4%. Where's the other 1% go? This is 95 plus 4. Well, whatever the case, um, I think we can probably get away with taking the junk data cards away like so. Yeah, there's only a few of them. And then we've got our conductivity data, electromagnetic field data, we need polarization and radiation. 
Polarize, uh, radiation comes from this thing. Polarization, uh, also spits out junk data cards. This thing is kind of in the way. Maybe I could flip all this stuff upside down and have this on the top. It would just be colliding with something else. Could we maybe move all of this down a bit? And we'll put the... This is taking a bit longer than expected. Is it all in range of the Roboport? Yeah, we're good. So let's see, this one just requires the regular old coolant. Much less complicated than some other things we need to build. We require 2.7 per second, which is going to take seven of these machines. That's pretty straightforward. And pipe goes like so. Uh, let's copy it like this. And we require multi-spectral mirror and blank data card. And there's two trash outputs. Is that contaminated? No, it's just regular scrap. This is contaminated. Um, let's see. Each individual machine is pretty slow on the inputs. We can definitely share a single belt for the inputs, and I think we could do long arms. So, probably do it like this. Have filtered inserters for the outputs. And here we will put junk data cards and scrap. I suppose we can just put these next to the long arms, a little bit simpler. Okay, so blank data cards and multi-spectral mirrors. Uh, blank data cards will be coming from the main bus. Multi-spectral mirrors will probably make on the spot. And which resource? We do have iridium plates now. This one makes way less scrap, though. Uh, this uses twice as much lubricant, one-fifth as much chemical gel. Chemical gel is... Ten cosmic water, a hundred petroleum. That is not trivial. It seems like the more basic recipe for the multispectral mirror is kind of better. It's the same speed, produces a lot less scrap, 
Um, same amount of LDS, three times as much glass, three steel, no iridium plate, heat shielding. Four physical inputs as opposed to three, so same number of belts. Yeah, I think we're going for this recipe. Uh, let's grab ourselves a space manufactory. And figure out where this is going to fit together. Uh, how many do we need? Only 0.6 per second. And this can do 1.0 without any speed modules. A ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I think we will just take this stuff off the main bus and the fluids. Uh, heat shielding, LDS. And glass and steel. And just check the rate. Three steel per second, six glass per second. So these should be the other way around, actually. I wonder why the bots are that slow. And for LDS and heat shielding, the long arm is definitely enough. Okay. Inventory is getting a bit full. And... Lubricant and... Gel. Okay, so since this is going to be on this side of the belt, that's good. Cool. Um, as for the fluids... Actually, I kind of want to see what the shape of this is going to be before I make a choice there. Maybe we could put this down here and share some of those fluid pipes, sort of. I don't think it's going to be that much more convenient. Uranium plus blank data card. I think we could probably... What? Why is there scrap on this belt? Oh, this thing produces scrap, I forgot. Whoops. Multi-spectral mirror. And get rid of this. And as for the scrap... I'm seriously thinking about having... just a shared belt for... Both kinds of scrap and junk data cards, spirit them away somewhere and sort them. Might make it a little bit easier to deal with all these things. We need to make sure we have the throughput to eliminate all of them anyway. How does the purple underground and pipes work? Uh, purple underground, do you mean this? Uh, these things? This is from the editor extensions mod. Although I think there might be a way to get these in vanilla with uh, console commands or something. Could be wrong about that, but the point is... Oh yeah, it says editor extensions. Uh, 
this is basically just a spawner and or item destroyer. The default is it'll eat everything. Um, and you can do similar things with the pipes. Like, uh, I want this pipe to always be half full with water. And of course the same thing is going to happen to any other pipes in the network eventually. Much easier than physically bringing resources together to test a build idea. Okay, no worries. Um, so... This thing produces scrap and junk data cards. Just do that. And we need polarization data to come out of here. Oh, we haven't got any fluids here, that's why there's no finished products yet. I would kind of like to connect these to each other. That's too... no, that's fine. And maybe I could rotate these around so that those two go together. If I rotate all of these twice, is that going to do it? Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. So... That doesn't quite reach. That's sad. I don't really want to have to make an exception for one of those belts. Alright, so this goes... Uh, that's unfortunate. I could move this down a tile, I guess. But then this will be on the other side of the belt. Blank data card. And then this can go here. Looks a little bit neater. And this can come through here. I guess this should probably be closer together. No reason not to. Alright. Which one's this? The warm fluid? Oh, that's ever so slightly tragic. Um... All right, fine. Underground goes here. What? Why does it think there's a different fluid in here? There's literally nothing in there. This output is... Um, negative 10 degrees. Oh. And this is 15, I think. 25. Hmm. 
What about this one? That is outputting at 25. Wait, so it goes in at negative 100 and comes out at negative 10. Okay. Don't know if I've run into this before, but we should probably have another fluid. Uh, we should have that on the fluid bus as well. But I just want to double check that is indeed the first negative 100 that I've... Sorry, negative 10 that I've come up across. I think it is. I could just do a rate calculator over all of this. And let's look for the negative 10 degree thermofluid. 25... Well, let's do a search. That's not what we're looking for. Why does... Thermo fluid... Why does fluid not find that? Okay, I guess we'll just scroll through it. 25 degrees... Uh, negative 10 degrees, negative 100 degrees. The negative 10 is only consuming, wait, consuming? Negative 8.867. It's producing it. Uh... I am a little confused. I thought all of the thermofluid I dealt with before was either 25 degrees or negative 100. Um, but for now, I guess this pipe is not going to go up here, actually. That simplifies things. Uh, and this is going to go back to the fluid bus. Negative 10, exactly 50%. A intertooth. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And that's a lot of scrap already. Okay. We also need the cool thermofluid going in. Um, I've got that down here. It's all the way down here. I think we'll just have another connection go to the bus. Although we can't fit it through there, unfortunately. Okay, negative 100. Fantastic. And this will indeed produce 2.7 per second. Good. Uh, what is it called? Polarization data. Polarization data. And I don't suppose we're going to be able to fit this in here. Almost. I think we just have to move it up a tile or two. How many of these will we require? 2.7 per second. Radiation data. Less than 10. Uh, we need 9, just like up here. And we don't need to worry about any fluids this time. That is indeed... Oh, wait, that's 2.27 per second. Uh, 
Uh, where is it? Radiation data. We need more. Move the whole base by one tile? Yes. Um... I guess I could put this thing over on this side. And that would get this stuff out of the way. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We could put these here. And this can go here. Wait, it needs to go here, actually. Unless I want to move this over a little bit. I don't see why not. Um, I'll have to figure something out for the scrap output. But we can put this here. And maybe an underground scrap goes here. I think I'm happy with that. I feel like that's a bit neater. And now we can extend this one out. Let's move all of this over a bit. Like here, probably. Cannot build on empty space. Where's the empty space? Infinity loader is in the way. It doesn't seem like anything's missing. Okay, how many outputs does this have? Radiation data. We're going to need more. Uh, so we're aiming for 2.7 per second. That is... Nine machines. I thought this was nine. It's seven. Okay. And then we just need to figure out how to priority consume the uranium that comes out of this, uh, out of these things. We also need blank data cards, as is often the case. Uh, these two sides are just output. Let's see. Other side. I was thinking maybe if I put it on this side. Wait, that's that's the wrong way around. A more bell. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I wish I could have uh, hmm, that's going to be on the wrong side of things. I wish I could have a inserter put the uranium 238 on the belt. Uh, 235, and be a higher priority than what's on the belt. The easiest way to deal with this, I think, would be to separate all of these by one tile each, 
and just have inserters swapping uranium-235 between the two of them. Although we would need to deprioritize in putting from here. Rad hand content hold. Oh, read hand content hold. Stop built if greater than zero. Yeah, maybe. Except if the input from the belt has already saturated the whole thing, then it'll still get it all jammed. I don't know... I don't know how small I can make this. Like, it's, it's easily solvable, but how elegantly can we do it? We could always just have inserters put things into chests and then... Use one side of the belt. So I'd have to have a, an extra belt just for the blank data cards. Like, the trouble is, the inserters prioritize picking up from the near side of the belt, but they put onto the far side of the belt. So if we only use the top side for the incoming 235 and put the rest of it on the bottom side, it'll consume all the stuff at the top first. I think we're going to need more space. Let's see. The way we dealt with it with just belts and inserters when it came to priority input for the um, genetic data was like this. But that was just with two machines. Or one machine, really. Hello, Creakly? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Always wondered why Factorio don't have long-range filter inserters. Yeah, I've been wanting those a lot, building a orbital science with, um, with belts. Can you quickly show me how you're doing the basic oil production in orbit? Sure. Uh, so... We're using coal and ice to do coal liquefaction. Um, otherwise, we have to send up barrels of oil. And uh, some electric boilers turn the water into steam. Uh, you're going to need like a barrel of heavy oil to get the whole thing started. But after that, it's no trouble. Um, basically, this is self-perpetuating, whereby uh, coal liquefaction produces more heavy oil than it consumes. When I do recipe which recycles something locally, like uranium, I have three little gut between two machines. Use filter stack inserters to output locally to chest, and I grab it uh, from belt only when the chest is empty. Yeah, that's probably what I'll have to do. Just hoping I can come up with something more small and elegant and space efficient and stuff, but I doubt it. Thanks, no worries. Uh, so... Jeez, the size of this base already. Uh, let's see, where was I? What I could do if I wanted this thing to take up the same space. Uh, how quickly does it consume? It's quite slow. Three uranium per second, three blank data cards per second for the whole thing. So I 
think we could get away with uh, something like this. We need to remember to output the 235. And input it. Except then we can't use this belt for blank data cards, right? Unless we can... Maybe like that. Once again, I find it a shame we can't have two-way inserters. I could do a blacklist filter and only have one of each thing in the chest at the same time. Okay. I think we will have to separate these a bit. It's fine, there's plenty of room. So, I don't know how close together these are going to be. Um, need a filter inserter. Two thirty five. Let's put it nice and close to this side. Like that. And then just set these to... Well, if they're going to pick up both the uh, Uranium-235 and the blank data cards, then... What we might do is set filters blacklist. And that way, if there's any uranium-235 in here, they won't pick it up. Almost like mine? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's probably not too many ways to do this, right? I was just hoping to come up with something a little bit like what we did here. No circuit, like I, I love I love doing things with circuits, but if you can do something clever that doesn't even need them, that still solves like a logic puzzle, that's cool too. Uh, we need nine of these, I think, and one more. Just double check. 2.9 per second, 2.6 per second. Okay. That should be all it takes. Let's give it some power and see what's what. That's just barely going to reach if I put it here. I guess we don't need a chest here. Yeah, that should be fine. So you're not going to pick anything up except uh, blank data cards. Cool. Post my solution to Discord for later viewing, so not to spoil. Okie dokie. We're going to need some power over this side as well. And 
over here. Alright, so we've got this one. Uh, polarization data. Radiation data. Why is polarization not getting made right now? Because the blanks are not here. What? Oh, there's the empty piece that I couldn't find earlier. Are these getting made? Yeah, there's no trash output at the moment. And just to double check again, this is enough multispectral mirrors to support this whole thing. Easily. Uh, might need some power over here. That seems good. Why is this one not working? Oh, that's probably why. Inspection continues. Okay. Link data cards go up here. Need to make sure I don't think we should combine the belts for the different outputs. We're already doing that here, though. Scrap, junk data card. This is contaminated scrap. The total production of those junk items is pretty low. So as long as we don't... As long as we don't run out of space for them somewhere, which is a problem we have to deal with anyway, that should be fine. What are all of these belts? That one might be a little different. No, we need holium plate. We'll see. What's this one? That's for the junk data cards. We could probably make those go this way instead. And... One, two, three... Where's the output for this? We need fluid. Just gonna put it at the end of one of these so it's nice and easy to find. Okay. Actually, I think all of these are going to merge over this way. Because there's trash to pick up here, 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 here. I think we'll just always have it at the end. Nyron Wolf, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. All right, so what are we missing? Uh, obviously some fluid. We need to get these four items into place. Where is this going? Blank data cards. And that's Holmium. 
Uh, where is the Holmium? It's down here. So I think we'll get rid of this belt. Makes things a little bit less confusing. Um, blank data cards. Where do we consume most of the blank data cards? This makes 8.5 per second. This consumes 3, 3, 3, 3. Um, we might have to... We might have to have the blank data cards for this whole thing coming from a single source so that we can merge the ones that are coming from here in and priority consume them. Uh, but first, let's deal with this. I don't suppose I could get away with that. And merge these two. Might need an underground. If I do it like that, they won't merge properly. Let's connect the fluid. That's a problem. There we go. And over here. These two can go over here, and make sure that connects. Oh, these are working already. Fantastic. And it looks like we're getting... Catalogs will eventually get to the end. Uh, significant data... Just needs more insights, there we go. And that just leaves the Holmium, which we've got over here. I think half a belt is more than enough. 6.67. Yeah, if I recall correctly, half a belt is enough for the whole thing. Missing pie, top right. Pie. Hey, Sir Welshie. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let me just check this first. Holmium is only 9.5. 5, 2 per second. So this is definitely okay. Oh, pipe. Top right. This one. That'll do. And just to double check, as is usually the case, uh, this whole thing, the amount of coolant that we need is less than what'll go through one pipe. Uh, 118 cold thermofluid. 
that should be fine. So I think we've finished it. Much easier than the uh, bioscience, thank goodness. I think all that's left now is to actually fit everything together, like the entire base, properly. Twins born in Prague equals double check. <laughs> oh no. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll do it. Probably. Oh, that's right. I wanted to... We need to take the um, blank data cards that are a side product here back to the input for this whole thing. Um, I could slide it through here, but no. Oh, don't really want to... Well, do I? If I slip it through here... We need blank data cards to... originate, like, up here somewhere. Have a priority merge. We need to only take the top half of this belt. Uh, let's see. Input priority right side. This comes from the main bus. And then... Let's just do it like this. Since we're going to be taking it off a full belt anyway. Um, green circuits on the top, holmium on the top. Wait, this is the last one. So... Where does the splitter go? D Wait, that wasn't green circuits. Oh, there are green circuits here. I got that part wrong. Whoops. Okay. Green circuit. Oh, it's called a... Uh, electronic circuit. Doesn't really matter which side that one is. Chromium comes in like so. And... Let's go so over here. Maybe missed this bit at some point, but how much production of raw resources and power needed to be increased to keep up with new science production designs, or everything is okay with this? Uh, it's going to be a lot, but to start with, we're just going to build one of each building, and once we've got the bare minimum to get it all working, we'll put the rest in place, little by little. Uh, but yeah, the power requirements pr required for this are going to be a little bit extreme, to say the least. Alright, so this is... 
where the blank data cards come in. Uh, we need to merge in uranium here. Does it matter if it's the top row? No, it doesn't. So for that one, I think we'll just... What's the best way to do this? Like so. Even though I've gone and reversed that. That should be okay. So now we need to figure out the net consumption of blank data cards for this entire base. I won't include where we're producing them up there. Oh, I almost missed that part. All right, blank data cards. Why does it not find it? There we go. 38, no, uh, 61.027 per second. Although it's, uh, oh, it's actually a net consumption of only 22. So I think, I think if we do like 23 blank data cards per second from a main bus type of thing, um, that's going to be enough to support the entire base. I would like to leave room to saturate a belt just in case I'm wrong. Um, blank data card, at least it's nice and straightforward. Polished data storage substrate. That is something that we need to make in space. Rough data storage substrate comes from the ground. Um, is this overkill, this part? 8.32 per second. Uh, let's put some speed modules in. That's a lot of speed modules. How fast is this? 6.8 per second. A team. 27. So that should do it. Um, that would require two belts. More than two belts of... Oh, wow. That's actually quite a lot. Can we bump this down to the 22 that we're looking for? Twenty-four requires ninety-six of these. Not really. Okay. Let's start with that. And... Let's go with each side. Two belts of copper, two belts of polished, one belt of advanced circuits. That's a lot. That's a lot, still. Um, we could do the belt of advanced circuits. Actually, maybe put that further back. I think it requires 10 per second. 
Okay, uh, 20 per second copper plate alone. We're going to need like... Probably two, yeah, probably like six or seven stack inserters to keep up with this. It's actually kind of crazy. How many can we fit? Uh, nine. That's if we do them all in a row. Maybe we don't do that. Didn't expect it to take up this much space and belt uh, just to spit out 20 something data cards. Also, we're going to need a ton of production for polished data storage substrates. Uh, like, really a lot, actually. Thirteen point six versus two. So we need, if we were just doing it for, to support one of these machines, we'd need seven of these. Okay. As much as I'm only going to build the minimum number of machines to get the whole thing working to start with, uh, still going to need to leave room for expansion. So if we need eight of these, uh, seven. 23.8 is uh, just going to be enough to support the whole thing. Let's just double check. Blank data card. Net rate is 22.09. And seven of these makes 23. Eight. I think I'll just have them in a line. It's getting a bit big. And each one needs 10, 13, and 20. So depending on how we do the belts, we could do one belt for this, one belt for this. It's actually less than less than half a belt for copper, but for each machine. So if we take it off the main bus directly, where did my, didn't I just pick up a bunch of belt? So copper comes from here, advanced circuits, and polished data storage substrate. Polished requires rough plus water, plus we have to get rid of the scrap and the fluid. We could do it like that. I think we will do it like that. It's going to take up so much space. So we're aiming for 
95.2 per second. That is... Forty-six of these machines? And we need more than two belts of input? If we just do 90 per second input, is that gonna... Is that gonna keep up? Hard to say. Okay. Calculator. 95.2 over 90. It's 1.06. Um, other way around. 95%. Twenty two point five. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that would be enough to support the entire base in terms of blank data cards. Wait, does that consume blanks? It does. Okay. Blank data card, 22.09. Okay, so two belts of input of polish of rough data, rough data storage substrate uh, is going to be enough to support this whole thing. Um, I think we'll get rid of those pipes for now, actually. What? And we'll need to have these in alternating patterns for the fluids, I think. Uh, one full belt of polished coming down this way. And one on this side. And for the output... Just put it in the middle. And we'll filter it at the end. And I forgot to check again how many of these I need. Oh, that's the wrong recipe. So we want 90 polished per second. Which leaves us at 44. Well, at least it's a multiple of 4. So this is going to have to go down 11 times. Uh, why don't I blueprint this? and see which part is going to repeat. I think it's this one. Snap to grid relative height is 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is pretty big. And that's with speed modules. So that'll consume a full belt of rough data storage substrate and 
fluids are not much of a problem. Just a little bit of scrap comes out, that's fine. Can I maybe make this a little bit more compact? Like... Hey, Bachaza. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, and welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Which blueprint is this? There we go. Uh, I need 44 of these. That's 40. Yeah, I like that shape a bit better, definitely. Uh, okay. This goes here. That goes there. And we're gonna need some underground pipe. Let's just copy like so. That goes there, I think. Then we have our output belt. Um. I think I'm forgetting something. Let's see. No, I think that's fine, actually. So that's going to give us uh, two belts of polished and just under one scrap per second. I guess we'll have to do this on both sides. Scrap. And scrap. Spirit this away somewhere. Okay. So we've got our two belts of polished. And we're going to need even more copper plate and two belts of red to support seven of these. And I'm still not sure how it's going to be shaped in order to get the resources where they need to go. Uh, probably this is going to be to the left of the main bus. So I think we'll just keep taking stuff off of the main bus like so. Wait, don't tell me I'm going to end up using, like, more than four belts of copper plate or something. That would be unfortunate. Can I sort by the rate? No. Nope. No, I think we're probably gonna be okay. All right. So um input belt that's wrong goes here. I'm going to confuse myself with that. Let's blueprint this, get rid of these, and 
Voilà. This is literally the only thing that uses the polished substrates, I believe, so why don't we just do it like this. Uh, let's assume that we're going to need two stack inserters for each of the inputs. So maybe like that. That'll do. One, two, three, four. And then the output is pretty straightforward because this whole thing only produces like 22 uh, blank data cards. This goes here. And on the other side. I guess we'll just have it going down like so. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, and I think we'll put it on both sides of the belt, because why not? That is quite large. So it's only got one physical input, one fluid input. And I think we need to slightly rearrange how we're going to do this one, but compared to designing the other sciences, that's going to be trivial. All right, I think we're just about ready to try and fit all these giant jigsaw pieces together. So first thing I'm going to do is take the oil stuff uh, the fluid things, and move them out of the way a bit, um, until we figure out exactly where we can fit those. Bots are actually struggling to keep up with this, even with the super bots. Okay. Let's grab a copy of all of this. And wait for those holes to be filled in. Bots are a bit busy over here. A 
If I find just the right spot, it looks like I can fill it out without worrying, but I'll just do a left click instead of shift click. There we go. If there were any gaps in the way, we would have been told about it. Okay. Um, I definitely want to have a sort of load bus on the side. Get rid of all this stuff for now. I'll move the rocket science packs somewhere else in the meantime. Can we put this somewhere? There we go. And that is really going to take up some room. I suppose I could put this like up here-ish. There's no actual space platform here to worry about for the moment. Um, I don't know if I want to... I think I would like to keep that trash processing area where it is. So, let's see. If this were to go here, I think that would be okay. The polished data storage substrates would have to make a bit of a corner there, but that's fine. Or rough data storage substrates, rather. As long as all of the other inputs start below this line. Except, if I put that there, I've got to be a bit more careful about making sure there's room for belts to take junk items back up here. And I think we will... I'll, I'll do two belts, I'm sure it'll be overkill. I think we will bring all of the junk items to one place and then uh, deal with them. So definitely want to make sure I leave room for that. And then we need a fluid bus. We need to make sure the pipes are at least one tile apart so that we can... Okay, let's make them two tiles apart. That way we can easily take from the fluid bus. Now we just need to figure out how many fluids we actually need. Um, I think that's rate calculator's job. Let's see. Uh, I wish I could filter out the fluids, but unfortunately I can't. One, two... Uh, that doesn't count. Three... That doesn't count. Uh, four... Five, question mark? Six, seven, not eight, nine. Okay. Let's leave room for like 12, just in case I'm wrong. So we're going to have pipes going all the way down here. And everything's going to be built on the left side of those. Uh, does it matter which order we put which sciences?
not really. Um, similar sized ones next to each other would be kind of nice, just so that we can be a bit more straightforward with the junk outputs from the end, but I don't think it really matters. Oh, that's causing a bit of lag. Yeah, that's going a little bit overboard. There we go. Just got to make sure I have room to move this stuff. I could put them in order of how big they are. How long they are, that is. Maybe the longest one at the bottom. This is going to create a few bot jobs, that's for sure. Okay. So, how, how long is this one? I think this is the longest. Yeah. I would like to put that at the bottom, but... I don't know if I've left myself room just yet. For now, let's just put it here and make sure we don't lose it. Infinity Loader is in the way. Uh-oh. Why does it think... There's an Infinity Loader in the way. I don't see anything there that isn't marked for deconstruction. Also, why do we have so few bots doing their thing here? Or are there just that many items to pick up? I really hope I'm not going to have to use undo to make sure I don't lose anything here. I probably should have blueprinted it first. Oh, the UPS. Okay, are we good? Yes. So that shouldn't have been an issue, really. Um, I may already regret my decision. I need to figure out where this fits first. I should probably... Let's just blueprint this thing and I'll delete it. I'll save the game first, actually. Make absolutely sure we're not losing a massive chunk of work. Okay. So this is... I nearly said material. Uh, Astronomic Science Pack 1. Put that down here for now. Oh no, my game is at 8 UPS. I moved my walls, filled them with arty shells and fired at once. Walls are just in choke points, but pretty much span the whole planet north to south. That'll do it. Let's make a few more construction bots, although I don't know how much... Oh. I was going to say I don't know how much that'll necessarily help. Depends on if we're bottlenecking on UPS or bots to remove this stuff. Oops. Yeah, please don't remove the floor. Okay.
Now, where shall we fit this? I think this is a pretty sensible spot. Um... Here is probably... I just realized we're going to have to get belts through here as well. Um, since we have the two tiles between the pipes, that shouldn't really be a problem. Let's just try this and see how we go. So we're going to have the... Um, Pipes connect like so, and main bus for red circuits and copper plate. Yeah, that's nice and easy, actually. Oh, is this iron plate? Oh, there we go. Uh, rough data storage substrate is going to go over here. In this instance, I might just bring it over here directly. So let's see, it was copper and red circuits, wasn't it? Um, let's just keep that going down. Oops. Not like that. Obviously, you want to going to want to take off the belt in a slightly more sensible manner. Let's move this stuff. Nice and easy. How much does this require again? Two full belts. All of these. Uh, there's seven of them. I don't want to have to put a belt balancer between all of these, but I don't know what the best way... to make sure we take enough off of the main bus is otherwise. The first four of them requires... Well, scratch that. The first three of them requires two belts. Okay. So the first two, we can just take off one belt. And we'll do the next two, the next two, the next two, and then do a belt balancer. Oh. Wait, did I say... Yeah, no, the first two can take off the first belt. Second two can take off the second belt. Like so. Um, 
this one, and this one come off the third belt. And last one off the last belt. And then we put a belt balancer, just to be sure. One, two, three, skip three. Middle, last two. There we go. And it should be easier for red circuits since we don't need as many. We still need two belts to support the whole thing. Uh, the first four can just be consumed by one belt. Okay, so this one, this one, this one, very straightforward. What are bots doing on the ground? And then the last three need to come from a different belt, and then we'll do a balancer. Just like that. All right, and then it's looking okay, don't need this. We need some power for these builds over here. Let's just get rid of the belt for now. And substation. We can probably do a little bit neater than that. I just put them every couple of... Yeah, that'll do. This side. Actually, eh, that's fine. Let's just stick to the middle. Oops. Okay, so that should power everything over here. Let's give it some big poles to reach across all of this. And then we just need the cosmic water.
I forgot I wanted to have uh, these belts going all the way down. There we go. And I think we can probably figure out where we can fit our fluids now. Oh, that's just a ghost. Except I don't want this. Um, shove it over here for now. Let's see. I think I would probably like to fit it uh, here-ish? I don't know. No, I want to leave more room for the scrap stuff. Make sure there's, um... Plenty of space to... Do whatever needs to be done. To deal with all of the waste products in one place. Okay, so we're going to put this right about here, I think. Actually, it should have been further up. Get rid of these. And these. Okay, let's try that again. That UPS drop was worth it. Among many others, there are 6,000 behemoth worms dead. That is at least seven. Uh, is there still a gap there? I can't see. No, we're fine. Okay, um... I kind of put these machines in the way of the fluids. I think this will be fine. We'll probably be able to find room for the scrap stuff there. Okay. So... I don't know if it'll make much more sense to have X, Y, or Z fluid in X, Y, or Z pipe. Um, I think for now we'll just do whatever comes to mind. Contaminated cosmic water, contaminated bio sludge, actually. Let's put bio sludge here. And don't forget uh, thermofluids. Let's make that cool thermofluid. Cool, cold, and regular. And what else? Lubricant, definitely. I don't think petroleum, heavy oil, light oil ended up needing to go directly into anything. We'll leave that as is for now. And let's make a blueprint for material science. Let's just get rid of that for now. And that 
it's going to go down here. Okay. I guess since we're not putting, um, data storage substrates down this way, we could take that space for the main bus and use it for, well, it's literally just going to be the one belt for blank data cards. But even so, uh, let's blueprint this one as well. This stuff, we're not going to do locally. That was just for testing purposes. Um, a lot of these pipes are not necessarily going to be where they are. But I'll keep that much at least. And that is Bioscience 1. And delete. Oops. So far, so good. Okay. Energy science number one. Goes here. All right. Is that not getting picked up? There we go. Okay. Now which science should go first? Uh, well, we should probably redo the rocket science pack. Let's see, I'll put this here for a reference. This is incredibly straightforward compared to the other ones. Um, why did I build four of these though? 13.2 per second. Greetings, what sort of map is this? This is uh, an orbital platform in editor extensions because we're doing a big base design. Uh, hi Gondu, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we're going to need the blank data cards, electronic circuits called thermo. That is all. I forgot to check. Um, so all of these other sciences, we're doing one machine with no speed modules, and we're trying to support that. Um, so that is 0.6666666 per second. I thought one of these was 0.33. I guess not. Uh, so rocket science pack, should we do it at the same pace or maybe a bit faster since it's going to be common to 
like everything, I think. Yeah, it's it's literally in everything. So maybe two or f two to four times faster. How fast does this go? One per second. Existence is pain, otherwise all is good. All right, well, take what you can get, I guess. Um, if we do two per second, that's going to be like triple the speed of the other sciences. Um, okay. Let's, I think for rocket science, we'll put speed modules in and try to support that. 0.34 machine learning data per second. Machine learning data. Oh, this one requires the negative 10 as well. And this is just steel. Main bus, main bus, main bus, main bus. And we're treating blank data cards as coming off the main bus. Okay. 0.34 per second. Let's get... Wait, was that 1 per second? No, 0.1 per second. Let's speed it up a little bit. 1, 0.18 per second. Oops. 0.36 per second. Cool. That's going to be all it takes. And... I'll have the fluids here. Any scrap output? Yes. I think we'll direct insert this one, and we can do the scrap output like so. So this just requires electronic circuit and blank data card. That's going to come from the main bus. Uh, cool thermo fluid is going to come from the main bus. Is this really all it takes? This is also going to spit out junk data card. Okay. So we'll put all of our junk. Can I maybe put this a bit closer? No, I think that's fine. I know, we'll do it like this. Oops. Junk data card. And scrap. And direct insert the machine learning data. And that just leaves these four items. How fast do we need them? 0. 0.34 empty barrel per second. I think we can probably manage that. Quite easily. Hello, Mind Mousecraft. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So that's going to be steel, and wait, how fast does this need steel? Only 1.25 per second. Yeah, either way. I think we'll put that on the other side. And the other inputs can come over here. 
so this is... Wait, I've got a better idea. Steel, satellite telemetry, solid rocket fuel, and vulcanite block. Steel will be on that belt. And I guess it can go in like that. And then we just... Feels weird that this is all it takes, but... We're making the uh, uh, scrap and junk data cards and sort of an externality with this build. Okay. Move this over a bit. Do I want to... I think I do. Let's put the, um, this only has one output. Maybe we could put it on this side. Like here. Okay. Let's get rid of all that. Oops. Long arm inserter goes here, 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 and here. May as well put them on two sides of a belt. If I can find a splitter. It's going to be on that side. Okay. That goes here. And I think We'll just line it up where the main bus would be. Even though we're only going to have less than one belt for that. For the foreseeable future. Alright, so rocket science. Let's see, we're going to have the negative 10 degree... Thermo fluid come in this way. And over here as well. That would be a niner. Pipe goes this way. And then we need 25 degree coming over here. Hmm. Where's the best spot to do this? Does that one just happen to line up? I think it just barely doesn't. Okay, that's fine, I guess. And we'll just connect those like so. 
Input goes here, sub goes here, big pole, maybe not so big pole. It's fine. And then we need blank data cards and green circuits. So let's get some of these so I can access them a bit more easily. That's not quite not quite what I'm looking for. There we go. Green circuits. Okay, so our junk is going to exit stage this way. You know, one thing is to plan the base ratio and things, others is to make whole base in editor. What's wrong with that? I mean, especially with the space exploration sciences. Uh, okay, so that'll that'll be that. We also need some belts going in here. This one has to have steel and satellite telemetry. Also, thank you for the follow, Alessia Medium. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so that one's steel. Where's the satellite telemetry? I thought we had that. Oh, there it is. We can delete this now, right? Uh, why don't we copy all of these at once? And that'll make things a bit easier. So this is satellite telemetry data. And we want steel on half the belt. Experience is the thing. You can make as many mistakes as you want now. But in the real base, making mistakes is part of the fun. Yeah, but there's so many, like, different interconnected things in this. It's really, like, designing the totality is quite the task. And I don't want it to take ten times longer than it otherwise would, just because I'm going back and forth for resources and stuff like that. Um... Bonk. Okie dokie. I think if I put this here... Uh, wait, steel is over this way, isn't it? Let's move this for the moment until I figure this part out. Um, that goes there. And... So on. I'm gonna have to move this belt, I think. Whoops. Besides, we're not designing everything in the editor, we're just getting tier one sciences done. Tens Dungeon, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
How was your stream today? Bit of the old Factorio. Uh, let's see. I want this over here. And we'll take that. And that's on the wrong belt, isn't it? Let's move all of these down a tile. Like so. And that goes there. Take this off the belt. And that's going to be rocket fuel and vulcanite blocks, I believe. Yep. Rocket fuel and vulcanite blocks. Uh, I think that's vulcanite blocks over there, and that's rocket fuel. Okay. At least it makes it easier to line these, uh, this stuff up. Alright, let's copy this. And volcanite blocks go here. Cool. And that just leaves chemical gel. Which... Uh, I think that's fine, actually. Let's just connect that like so. Nope. Okay. So that should be everything we need for the first science. What are we missing? Polished, because we don't have cosmic water plugged in yet. How much cosmic water does this use? 457.6 per second. That's not too bad. Although it is going to be a bit of a pain connecting all of these. Um, maybe I'll just connect the cosmic water at one spot. And connect all of these up over here. Hmm, that's a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, I think I'll connect the other fluid on the other side. So... Do these connect? Oh, that's perfect. Except for this part, which is okay. Maybe I'll do it like this instead. And I just realized we're connecting the wrong fluids every other time. So we need to get rid of the contaminated cosmic water connectors. Cool. And then connect this wherever. I think here should be fine. Uh, can I get some regular pipe? There we go. 
And then we need to make sure contaminated cosmic water is connected on each end. Like so. Okay, so underground goes here. This connects like so. And that should be it. I do need to make sure these are set to not fill up, at least for the waste products. And we need some power. Nice. So that is polished data storage substrates. Uh, this part needs to come back over this way, or I could just have it come down like so. Also, I didn't decide where the scrap is going yet. Um, let's see. We could do it like this. And... Hmm, maybe I could have left a little bit more space between these. It's a little bit late to move it now, kind of. I mean, it's it's not, but it's a big pain in the butt. Uh, let's see. That can go there. And that can go there. Is that going to be on the correct side? No, it's not. Oh, it is. Cool. Alright, so that should get all of these machines going. You an editor, what you complain about? It still takes work to move all of this stuff down a couple of tiles. Gotta be careful I don't make mistakes and stuff. It just takes less effort when it comes to placing the things and then putting the stuff there to test the throughput and all of that. Now why are we not getting polished data storage substrates this far down? The middle one is inactive? Oh, these ones? That would help. Yeah, let's do that. Good call. And just to confirm, these all require... Well, we're only going for 90 per second. Also, I just realized we're going to be bottlenecking on the belt, aren't we? For polished data storage substrates. Um, so... This part doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We will indeed have some inserters on the other side. And let's line those up nice and neat. The input belt bottlenecks, correct. But gop, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's delete all of these just to check that it will indeed keep this going at full speed if required. Oh, 
Wait, how many is this going to make? 3.4 per second. Um, a single long arm isn't going to cut it. The half belt is just barely not going to cut it. For the output bottleneck. I can definitely move the copper down a bit and make room for another long arm to output. The only problem is we kind of need to do a belt balance here-ish. Luckily there's room. And I think we will indeed... Oh, not like that. Make a little bit of room for another output. Alright, so let's do it like that. Wait. Do it like that. Parts that don't look the same because of the substations should be fine. So we don't need that part. Sounds like everything's stopped. Oh, that's not right. Okay. Also, why is this... Oh, right. We need to get rid of the trash. And that goes up here. Let's copy this thing so we don't have to do as many clicks. Do you know that when you produce the science, you get the white data card back? Um, do you mean as... Uh... Oh, as a junk data card? Yeah, we're dealing with that. Also, for the other sciences, it outputs a lot of blank data cards as a side effect, yes. Yeah, we've uh, we've dealt with that from significant data making. Yeah, lots of it. So why is polished data not getting down here? It looks like one side of the belt the output is saturated? Not quite. Yeah, this one. This one's not actually outputting properly because this part of the belt is full. Why is that? We've got a splitter here. Oh, the middle is taking more. Oh, I see. We've got one belt going just to this side and one belt going to this side and the middle. That's not going to cut it. Um, I think we can probably fix it just by... bringing these together. So the left can go to the middle, and the right goes to the middle and the right. That should be okay. Input strained? Yeah, it was. 
Right, that should give us 90 per second out, probably. It's looking close, but not quite. Oh, it hasn't reached here yet. That's fine. Alright, so that should be fairly reasonable, especially since we are going to be overproducing. Should be okay. Alright, so that is a rocket science done. Now let's see, which of these was the smallest? Probably energy science? Maybe? Um, well, let's put that there and to start with. Make sure we copy this down. That was weird. Whoops. And here. Could probably stand to move this a bit closer. We also need to add another one of these for uranium. Not a resource that I predicted having to put up here. Okay. Um, let's start by copy pasting that. Two thirty five. I wonder how much uranium this is going to burn through. Only 1.46 per second. Maybe a delivery cannon would make more sense for this. I think it's only needed for energy one, so a bit wasteful to put on the belt. Yeah. It really is a bit overkill in this case. I kind of wanted to build this without any delivery cannons, but it's such a small throughput and it's going to take so long to fill up a cargo landing pad. Not only for energy, but the other places are similar to energy one. What do you mean? Also, Mass420, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, on the other hand, I can always just send the first rocket up there manually. I'll think about it. We do have infinite uranium now, though. So it's kind of hard to talk about waste. When we've got uranium core mining going. Okay. So, this one's uranium. And what's next? Uh, copper and green circuits. I think we already took from the left side of this belt. 
Oh, it's been balanced. All right, so let's take from here. And I guess that's not quite in the right spot. What was the other resource over here? Green circuits. And what about green circuits? We've taken from the left one. Let's take from the one on the right. Or maybe we'll go left to right. Waste of belts, rockets, and scaffolding. We've got tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of those anyway. Um, but in any case, I will be building this with the minimum to start with. I can't remember what goes here. Was it Holmium? It was Holmium. Okay. Did I put Holmium on this belt already? I don't think I did. Up we go. And another one like this. Holmium. There we go. Uh, I forgot when you toggle the jetpack, it kills the copy paste thing. Okay. So Holmium goes here, I believe. Yes. Oops. Uh oh. Um. It's fine. Let's see. Might just move all of this uh, down a tile. Can I do it like this? Yes. Is that all good? Okay. Holmium. And... What else we got? This is an output belt only. This is an output belt. Uh... It's obvious what goes on these belts, and this one. So that goes there. Is it going to be okay if I... Okay, let's just start with steel and glass. There we go, glass and steel. Uh, probably gonna look like this. And steel goes over here. 
And this one is LDS and heat shielding, which I think... Oh, I didn't bust that yet. Okay. This is... I was going to say this is even more than I expected to have to build, but actually no. It's about the same. One and two. Where is it? Heat shielding and LDS. And then these in. City structure. Does that... Can't see what I'm doing. This is an awful lot of work for a temp setup. Yet yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm building it to have more capacity than I'm gonna be using. And like I said before, the power cost to run these machines is completely ludicrous. But what I'm gonna do to start with is just build like one of each machine to get it going. And then we'll add to it from that. I wasn't expecting, um, literally just supporting, because the, the arbitrary goal that I went for here was for each science pack, we just have one of these machines with no speed modules, and then we build everything else to support that. Uh, it did make the builds for each science, especially, uh, what was it? Astronomic? Uh, much bigger than I expected, but that's fine. I would rather build a bit bigger than necessary than the other way around, because we've just come from building a sushi belt system that I thought would be overkill for a while, and it's just completely hit its limit. Why aren't the bots taking the stuff away? That's weird. Wait, do we not have logistic bots? Is that why? Yeah, that's why. With such temporary setup, implied final setup must look insanely big. Um, the larger setup is going to be easier, counterintuitively enough, um, because we'll have space rail and we can just create rail blocks and keep adding blocks as necessary to scale up. Whereas when you're doing things with belts, um, scaling is much more difficult. But... The goal here is just to support uh, tier one of each space science pack, and it'll be the last one we ever need until we're doing rail blocks um, for everything else. Okay, so where were we? Uh, I 
think I got steel and glass already. This is LDS and uh, heat shielding. And for that, we have to go all the way over here. I did say this before, but um, when I was designing this part, but if it weren't for the size of the cargo landing pads, I would definitely be putting these buses closer together and maybe not having four lanes uh, for most of them. Whoops. Whoops again. Uh, whoops, a third time. There we go. Alright, so that should be LDS plus heat shielding. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. And now we just need... That goes there, actually. That's fine. Let's see if this part's working. Um, obviously going to need some fluids. Connecting to the fluid system. Let's see, that goes there. Oh, this just connects straight over here. Nice. Uh, three. Was it seven and five? Yeah, there we go. I would suggest to make a very little setup for energy too. It unlocks technology that's very useful. We'll get to that. Um, I don't know if I even have Energy 2 unlocked in the main game yet. Uh, let's see. Big pole. Just connect, will you? And get rid of this. That's a good fit. Okay, which one is it? Dark purple? Pretty sure this is it right here. And let's add a... Seven plus three plus five. Is that one right? Full thermofluid negative ten. Nice. And this one is negative a hundred. Oh, that actually sticks out ever so slightly more. I think I would rather have those line up together. Alright, so we want this one. Can't quite reach over there. Unfortunate. I think I'll have these two line up the same. And that requires a onesie. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm so curious how you 
do the rails because I'd like to do it too, but I don't know how. Um, I'm going to use, I think, the same rail block system that I've been using on the ground. I'm really quite happy with this one. Especially with LTN, um, you can do a whole lot with a small space when it comes to the train stops. With the double-headed trains being able to come in and out. Uh, I think I'll have these two connect this way. Uh, let's see. Move that over a tail, maybe. Can I... Like so. And this one, I think, is connected to a magic pipe somewhere. No. Um, I haven't connected it to the main pipe bus, that's for sure. Oh, this is outputting it, okay. So it outputs 25 degree thermofluid as a side, uh, side effect, which means we definitely need to connect it to the main bus. Um, I hope we're not going to run into problems where we actually produce too much of it. Whoops. Let's see. 7 plus 3 plus 5. Pretty sure I've, for the moment, set up. Oh, there we go. Exactly 50%. Okay. And then these two. Uh, how much stone does this need? Only 1.5 per second. I think we can manage like this. And copper goes on this side. Oops. Okay, so this one is stone. Where did I put the stone? I thought it was... Oh, I kept moving it back and then I removed it entirely. Okay. This really is a lot of... A lot of main bus. I think when we've built the whole thing, we'll look at the maximum consumption for different resources and we'll convert a few of these to be uh, to use delivery cannon capsules. Because if we're literally consuming like 1.5 stone per second or something like that. And that's obviously going to be a bit more attractive. Oh, 
but half the point of this is until I build the thing, I don't know how much I need of what. Is that it? I think it is. Let's check. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Why is that part flashing? And we need copper plate. Nice and easy. Um, so I think we balanced this and then we took from one side. Let's take from the other side. And then I think that might be everything. Let's see. We need to connect those up to where they actually go, but other than that, I'm not seeing any other... Oh, there's one infinity pipe left somewhere. Infinity pipe. Where are you hiding? Up here somewhere. What? Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Okay. Let's get a niner in here. Remove that one. Let's try a seven. How about a five? Three and seven. Cool. Okay. I think... Well, okay, before I say we're done with that science, let's, um... Let's connect the outputs to where they need to go. The new copper belt is both sides. It should... Oh, right. I think you're right. Yeah, unless the stone happens to get there first until the end of time, that's going to be a problem. Uh, so, just like that. Actually, I feel like that sort of looks cleaner. And let's just double check. Empty that part. So done, done, OMG. <laughs> done with science, time to build it. Yeah, we just have to put uh, a few more jigsaw puzzle pieces together. Um, the other science blueprints and a central area for dealing with waste up here. And connect the fluids up. And we're getting pretty close. Can I please get rid of that bit of stone? There we go. Right, so... There's plenty of room. Let's bring... I don't remember... I, I, I think I probably had some separate belts for different kinds of trash. Um, in this instance. Oh, that's not going anywhere right now. What about this belt here? What's that doing? That's the blank data cards. Okay. So I think we will merge over here. And... Like that. And what 
whatever this is doesn't need to be there. Can merge it over this way. And here is our trash output. Okay. Goes there. Cool. I just realized I've been always merging these into just one of these two belts. Probably only end up needing one of them. And that is, I believe, one of the sciences down. Let's connect this up properly. Cool. All right, so that just leaves uh, three sciences and connecting all the lines, central trash management, and that'll be it. So pretty sure we'll finish the design on the next stream. Maybe spend a few minutes cutting down some things, like we'll run a rate calculator over everything, and if stone totals something like 5 or 10 per second, we'll, we'll use a, I'll probably use a delivery cannon to handle that. But other than that, we are getting there. Two belts for scrap, oh sweet summer child? Uh-oh, is that not enough? I'm scared. I know we'll, I mean, I'll definitely have a scrap train eventually. But I can't make trains in space just yet. 1.6, 2.8, that's looking okay. Check out one of the material two cards? Uh-oh. Material two. Material two. Six junk data cards for four material science packs. How do I... Oh yeah, I remember a lot of scrap coming from material science. Don't know the name of it. The card which eats locomotives? What? Eats loco- You're kidding. <laughs> what? One locomotive per impact shielding data. Presumably we're slamming a locomotive into something for testing purposes. Over and over again. 1.5k. Oh my god. It does make 25 impact shielding data, but still. Wow. It's impact data. I imagine player throws locos at wall. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Uh, in all seriousness, I am looking forward to doing some of these very complicated sciences, but with rail blocks, not with uh, main bus or bot spam. All right. That's about going to wrap it up for today. Let's see who is streaming Factorio. Um, where's my browser gone? 
we got some mucky, we got some not English. First timer chillin? Alright, let's give a first timer a go, shall we? Worst performing locomotive's gonna be sent to impact testing? Oh no. Alright, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And, uh... Let's all drop in on... Is it... Pimp? Or Simp? I don't know. Thanks for the stream. Bye. Take care, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. Yeah.